Today, God has a message for you. Have you ever paused and thought what God has performed in your life that you aren't even aware of? Is it possible that he cured you before you even realized you were ill? Maybe he prevented an imaginary vehicle accident that would have killed you. I can't even begin to count the times I've felt God's protection, and I can only speculate on the number of times he saved me from peril while I had no idea I was in danger. He is constantly looking over you, and he's there for you even when you don't realize it. Our God is so great, it's incredible. Do you believe in God? If so, like this video. God grant that your trust in Jesus becomes as automatic as taking a breath as you walk with him. Look up at the sky, pay attention to a youngster, or assist a stranger in need throughout the day to be reminded that you are God's creation. God created you just for this moment in history. Take a deep breath in the assurance of his words and release it as you reflect on his benevolence. You are God's finest work of art. Carry yourself with today's confident pleasure, modesty, and boldness. To claim it, just type Amen in the box below. We adore and give thanks to you, Almighty God, for your greatness and glory, the genuine monarch of the universe. We bow down to you, to the light of your sanctity and innocence, we genuflect. In your kind presence, we find rest. This is where we discover peace and relaxation and the appropriate perspective on everything that occurs in life. What makes my life worthwhile is having you in it and learning from you. Your kindness and generosity are much appreciated. This is excellent news. Amen. God, you are aware of everything we think. You know how readily we are terrified by change. The good news is that you haven't abandoned us to the whims of change. By your kind gift, we now have an ally. God's Holy Spirit, you precious, may the calming influence of the Holy Spirit calm our fears whenever life throws you as a curveball. I pray that we may show our respect for you by learning to trust again, but you, dear, Maintain yourself in the love of God by meditating on God's word, encouraging one another through prayer, and growing in your most holy faith. The Almighty declares, I am keeping a record of everything that should have been yours. I know what you didn't obtain. I observed you working hard, raising your children, and making sacrifices after seeing your positive attitude and praise of me despite the lack of progress from the therapy, I assure you that the solutions are on the way and that I will return the years that you have lost. I am reversing the enemy's fortunes and returning all that was wrongfully taken from you. Remember that I have the last word, I love you. Don't give up. If you agree, please press the yes button. To start the day off right, here's a prayer. May the allure of Jesus draw you away from the nose of the world and bring you to peaceful waters where you may rest for a time. Inject new vitality into your spirit and cure everything. She that ails you May you feel his hands on your face and hear him speak works of truth, tenderness, and restoration over you. Hopefully, the knowledge of his 
Love will overpower any other feelings you have. You should consider him your ultimate target or reward. Yes, you have him on your side. Awaken daily to the reality of his love around you. He agrees with you and is on your side. All of your requirements have been met. May God bless you in the hours ahead. Claim it by typing, I have plenty. Every detail is returning, everything you thought you lost. God is going to restore, replace, and mend your just getting job experience, as they say. Don't become tired nor curse this season of adjustment. Keep your faith and realize that God has permitted these trials to come into your life for a reason. Even in the midst of tragedy, God reveals his plan. To give new life to other things, he must first destroy some. Some friendships will be lost or altered, and opportunities may be redirected or closed. Remember God is faithful and fix your thoughts on him. God would never withhold blessings from his children. Our religion must only stand up to scrutiny. Every detail is returning. Enter Amen to confirm. God is ready to offer you with fresh chances. He hopes that by doing this, he might pave the way for you to enter uncharted territory. No matter what the news says about the economy, the home market, or the employment market, the promises of God are unchanging. Those who actively pursue Him will be rewarded. He hasn't the slightest care about how He'll meet your requirements. There is no economic downturn in paradise. He is watching over you and continuing to open doors that you cannot close. If you let him, he can instantly place in your path the people you need to meet, the chances you can't pass up, and the means at your disposal to reach new heights. It's important that other people know you're okay. For all I know, all your eyes have ever seen is failure and you feel shattered and hopeless as a result. But God wants you to know there's another perspective. There's another magnificent aspect to your tale. You still have some of your greatest chapters to come. God will bring healing to your heart and put an end to the suffering you've endured for so long. A fresh chapter of love and triumph in previously hopeless situations is what he has in store for you. You are still standing after that terrible experience. It put you in a position to make your biggest progress ever. If you agree, please respond with a yes keystroke. If you believe in God, subscribe to our channel. God is speaking to you today, you hung. On throughout the roughest of circumstances, I gave you power to survive that at times you did not even realize it was me. When things change, for you many deserted you and wrote you off. And you didn't just weather the storm, you flourished in its aftermath, your unique I didn't make you to blend in. I made you to shine. Now I am going to reward your fidelity by bringing you to heights you have never imagined except this blessing in my name. God is saying to you today, I know that you are suffering hard right now. I know your finances are tight. I know you are working hard to cope with all of the difficulties that life is throwing at you. Although you may feel like giving up at times, God says, lean on me, I will show you the way, for I am the way. I have a blessing that is uniquely yours. Don't give up before it comes. 
For example, I am ready to shine. In text format would be an affirmation. There are certain chapters of your life that God will close for good. Thankfully, there were no open windows. You won't be able to return to servitude because, like the Israelites, God will seal up the Red Sea. If you got caught there, you would have missed your destiny. Each time God closes a door in your path, know that he's making room for something greater. This is what God is saying to you today. I know you have a lot on your mind right now, including your family, your well-being, the health of a loved one, your money, and your work. It seems like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. You feel alone, my child. You are never alone. Lay all your troubles before me via prayer. I will send aid, rehabilitation, and resources. Don't worry, I've got your back, I will provide. I will find a path for you. The heavens themselves are behind you. If you're all set, just hit the Amen key on your keyboard. God is going to shower you with incomprehensible good fortune. You've been here for far too long. The Holy Spirit is taking you to a higher plane. The turning point in your life is here. The adversary has no further tasks for us to do. Problems might seem insurmountable at times, leaving you feeling as if you have exhausted all of your options. Everything you are telling yourself is, give up. Don't give up, however. This is only a faith test God has set before you so that you might mature spiritually and learn to trust him more fully for the blessings he has in store. Decide to trust the Lord no matter what and don't base your faith on what you see or what other people say instead. Focus on what the Father says. Look to the promises in God's word and rest in them, for he is teaching you that Jesus is more than enough to meet all your requirements. Lord, I can't do this, but you can. Therefore, I'll trust you even if I can't see how you'll get me through this. Amen. Don't waste your energy wondering whether someone's feelings are real. The universe knows the truth anyway. For now, focus on what really matters, your inner growth. When your heart is always in the right place, the universe sets up your blessings in a different order. So worry about staying true to who you really are and continue shining your light as you navigate through your journey. Continue being precisely who you are and you will find yourself in the winner's circle daily. If you agree, please respond with a yes. Even if what you're going through doesn't make sense to you right now, know that everything happens for a reason and that no experience you have is ever wasted because everything is connected and working together for your highest good in the universe. All is okay if you keep moving forward on your greatest path and have faith in divine order and divine correct time. The affirmation I am gentle with myself may be typed. Especially now, it's important to have faith in the unfolding of your life since the universe wants you to be content with where you are before it moves you on. Acknowledge the blessings in your life and let go of your expectation so that you may fully appreciate them in the here and now. When you count your blessings, they grow and you never have to worry about being thrown into a situation from 
which you can't safely leave. Just tap I am sovereign on your keyboard and you'll be declared the true ruler. Instead of trying to push your way through the voyage, go with the flow and you won't have to backtrack as much. Just as the sun rises and sets every day and the seasons change every year and the moon's influence on the tides of the sea, so too should your good fortune come to you without any effort on your part. Don't show up unprepared to the door of your dreams. Instead, give your soul the time it needs to prepare for what it seeks. You're not missing out on anything, but your ego might have you believe otherwise. Carry on, you seem to be on a roll and the tempo at which you're moving seems to be just what your soul needs at this time. It's time to be astonished because the answers to your prayers are on their way to you and the environment in which you live has changed to make your ambitions more attainable. If you want to accept, just press the yes button being optimistic and spiritual isn't about pretending that everything is okay and it isn't. Therefore, it's okay if you're going through a tough moment. Believing in a higher power, keeping a positive outlook and leaning on the community to help you get through the tough times are all part of this process. Don't bottle up your problems. Instead, be upfront and honest about what's going on. Doing so will not only benefit someone else who is going through it right now, but will also help you in the long run. Nonetheless, it'll make it easier for those who have been in a similar situation to reach out and assist you. Keep your chin up, you'll get through this. It's okay to weep. God sees, hears, and knows everything. Justice will be done. The time will come, and you, my darling, are a lovely child of light. Don't lose sight of the fact that you have an abundant supply of love, kindness, and positive energy, all of which will come back to you many times over. The tears you weep will be met with an equal amount of pure love and a miraculous blessing is on its way to you. Lovable spirit, you will find that your life, like you, has a mystical quality to it as you recover from your wounds, stretch your heavenly wings, and soar to new heights just hit the Amen key if you agree. However, those who put their faith in the Lord, who have made Him their hope and confidence, will be blessed no matter what the future holds. You can rest assured that God will see you through your difficulties if you put your faith in Him. He does not. Want us to question his ability or try to be F O or C his timing, because doing so can lead to anxiety and doubt. Whom should I fear? Because the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the one who shines the spotlight on your path and exposes the secrets of your heart. So keep that in mind today. You may also rely on him as your deliverer, the one who will stop any plot against you from succeeding. When your hope is in the one who came before all others, you have nothing left to dread or worry about. Be still and know that God is God. Remember today that waiting on God is to your advantage having to wait longer than we'd, like might put us in a sour attitude. But when God's plan finally unfolds, 
we always come to appreciate the time we spent waiting. When we realize that God has not abandoned us, we feel foolish for even whining. He's just trying to help you out, and if you give it time, you'll realize that God's plan all along was the greatest one. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and he will give you courage. Wait, I repeat, on the Lord, and avoid being impatient with God's time. However, just as you don't tell, the doctor's performing your surgery to hurry up and get it over with so they can get it right. You should also let the master, surgeon of your life, do things his way so they turn out perfectly. Just hit the yes button if you're all set to go. Today, God is asking you to put your faith in him without reservation since he sees the big picture and is working things out in ways you can't even begin to fathom. As long as you trust in his plan and hold on tightly to his hand, nothing will be impossible for our mighty and glorious God to do in your life. Trust that God's plans for your life are coming to fruition and allow that to bless and encourage you. Sometimes we might find ourselves asking God crucial questions regarding our life and his part in it, but his only response is silence. We ask him which path should we go. When you need a shift in your life and you keep asking God, when will things change, or when will he open a door, his silence may be incredibly aggravating. However, God wants us to grow to the point of faith in him where we recognize that he remains silent for our benefit and choose to continue believing him nonetheless. God understands we sometimes desire things so strongly that if he answered our inquiries, we'll go on our own messing everything up, something we would later come to regret. If it seems like God is ignoring your petitions, remember are that he has already heard them and is working things out in your favor. If you're ready, just type I'm optimistic. And of this you may be sure, I am with you always, even to the end of the age today. Keep in mind that the Lord is not like man. He will not leave or forsake you when things are difficult. He will either carry you or lead you by the hand, but he will never abandon you. If you begin to feel overwhelmed today, remember, that the Lord, the friend who remains closer than a brother, is only one prayer away. Remember today that even if people wish you evil today, God is pursuing your good, and that he will reward you with a crown of beauty for your ashes. For the years of your life that have been reduced to ashes, he will give you a crown of beauty as compensation. Just by typing, I embrace my power, you're making a powerful statement. You may be certain that God has heard your supplication and is aware of your anguish, perplexity, irritation, fear, concern, grief, brokenness, and tears. He sees your faithfulness even though it hurts. Because you are honoring him through the suffering, he wants to remind you right now that for every tear drop, for every sleepless night, he has a blessing for you. The Lord Jesus Christ promises you health, wholeness, deliverance, answers, and grace. If you believe in God, subscribe to our channel. When our problems seem to outweigh the promise, 
It's easy to let ourselves get sidetracked by doubt, fear, and worry before we know it. The joy of God's promises and our inner peace are gone. But today can be the day you reclaim your joy because God's promises are certain to come to pass. If you're ready to share this video with other individuals who have faith in God, use the yes button below. In order to help us out, it would be much appreciated if you could subscribe and enable bell notifications.